All right, Shalom. Shalom. We are the Real Hebrew Israelites coming at you with another lesson. Before we begin, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. It's your brother Dawadai, and I have the brother Taziwan. And we're just going to uh, go through a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? And we want to entitle this lesson. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. Because these devils believe that their their kingdom is going to continue forever. But it's not. The Lord has already written their judgment. And their judgment is slavery. Okay. okay? You know, we can go back to the humble be beginnings. All right. In Genesis. Matter of fact, let's, let's go get that. This is Genesis chapter 27 and verse 37. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau... Behold, I have made him thy Lord. So he's already, you know, in subject uh, under our rule. You know, he's already going to be a slave because Isaac, who is Yahweh Shai, all right, in the reincarnation, had already declared, you know, the one who's able to uh, anoint kings in the earth. It says, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him. For servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do now unto thee, my son? So Isaac had already declared that he was going to be a slave, all right? And Jacob is going to be his lord, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And we're going to possess the remnant of Edom. You got that out? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, this is the book of Amos, <laughs> chapter 9, verse 11. In that day... Will I raise up the tabernacle of David and that's that is what, fallen? So like it. And that's what you're seeing now. The Lord is raising up the tabernacle of David. Okay. All right, that house. All right, that that possessed Edom, man. You go into King David. He he slew a lot of Edomites. Okay. All right, you got it. And close up the breaches thereof. Yep. And the Lord is closing up the breaches. Go ahead. And I will raise up his ruins. Mm -hmm. And I will build it. As in the days of old. See? As in the okay. days of old. And in those days, guess what? We possess the Edomites. Uh. <laughs> we're, we're going back to that certain time. Okay. You got it. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. See? Go ahead. And of all the heathen mm -hmm. which are called by my name. See that? Go ahead. Saith the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that doeth See, this. See, is the Lord. Yeah, how about South Side has already had it written. Huh. You know, there's nothing that you can do that's going to uh, stop the hand of the Lord from performing his work. Yeah. And who's the hand of the Lord? Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Remember, he's going to come back and take down Esau. Huh. Can we get that? Uh, what is that? Uh, Isaiah. I want to say Isaiah 63. Who is this that's coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Huh. Yeah, we also read in, uh, what is that, Psalms 2. Ask of me, and I shall give you the heathen for your inheritance. Okay. And that and that was Yahweh Shai who's going to receive that inheritance of the heathen. Okay. okay? And in turn, us being joint heirs, all right, we get that same reward. Okay. You, want, you got it. Okay. What you get, 163? Yeah, we can start at uh, verse verse 1. Okay. This is the book of e Salakia. <coughs> this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 63, verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom mm -hmm. with dyed garments from Basel? Go ahead. This that is glorious in his apparel, mm -hmm. traveling in the greatness of his strength. Yeah, and those chariots, mm -hmm. right? Spiritual power. Yeah. Go ahead. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Yeah, mighty to save. Yahweh Shai, the Redeemer. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Wherefore. Well, Art thou red in thine apparel, mm -hmm. and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? Go ahead. I have trodden the wine press alone. See, is the Lord Yahweh Shai, all right, who's going to give us these heathen fire inheritance, man? Yeah. He's going to come back and take down all the kingdoms of the earth. Okay. Starting with Esau Edom, the so called white man, because he's in rulership right now. Mm -hmm. You got it. And of the people, there was none with me. <laughs> See? Go ahead. For I will tread them in mine anger mm -hmm. and trample them in my fury. Mm -hmm. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. Go ahead. 
and I will stain all my raiment. All these are metaphors of how the Lord is going to come back and get down. <laughs> He's going to yeah. get down. Okay. It's not going to be up for the debate who's the next ruler of, of, of the planet Earth, man. Mm -hmm. You got it out. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, mm -hmm. and the year of my redeem is come. See how that is meshing up together? When the Lord come down and, and take down Esau, guess what? He's going to redeem his elect. That tabernacle of David that, that has been raised up in these last days. Okay. Can we get uh, Jeremiah chapter 30? I'm thinking like uh, verse 16. Because you're going into slavery, boy. Okay. You got to feel that. You know? There's no way around it. You're okay. going to catch that. Okay. That That's your portion. Well, okay. we, we read it in Genesis. Okay. You got it. So like you my dad, he that lead into the captivity shall go into captivity. Beautiful. I'm gonna get that. Come. This come is uh oh, Salaki, you got go ahead. Salaki, you got it. This is uh the book uh Revelation chapter thirteen and I'm gonna start at verse nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Hmm. He that leadeth into captivity hmm. shall go into captivity. That's it. You know, and who led us into captivity? You know, Esau, even the so-called white man, you know, and these other nations had their hand in it. You know, Ishmael mm -hmm. and the sub-Saharan slave trade, mm. you know, Ham had his part, you know, Moab, mm -hmm. you know, they played their part, you know, just like you read, just like the scripture said earlier, you know, in all of the heathen, mm -hmm. you know, so all these niggas got to get it, man. Mm -hmm. Ammon, yeah. you know, the so-called mm. Japanese man, you know. That 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 that's 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 what you gonna get, you know. It's slave captivity, you know. But oh, Salaki, you got it out. Okay, it says, "He that killeth with the sword mm -hmm. must be killed with the sword." Okay. Here is the patience and faith <laughs> of the saints. Okay. That's it, man. That's all. That's what I hope is. That's okay. what, that's why we suffer, you know. And we haven't suffered under blood, you know. We haven't really went through anything in this wicked kingdom for real. You know, we haven't been punished to the extent that we should be, man. Uh -huh. You know? So we thank you, how about shot for for giving us that grace, uh -huh. you know, and showing us favor to give us this knowledge so we can have a blueprint to come back. Uh -huh. That we may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathen. Uh -huh. You know? You got it out. Uh, 30 and 16. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee. No, the Lord didn't say so. <laughs> the Lord said all. You got it. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Mm -hmm. And all thine adversaries. Hmm. Every one of them. See that? And that's, the, that's a beautiful <laughs> point the brother made. <laughs> you know, the brother was talking about all these other nations. The Lord said every one of them. <laughs> And, and, and again, all these nations have, have taken a part in our captivity, man. Yeah. All right, you read uh, the book of Psalms 83, yeah. where all these nations are confederate against uh, Yahweh by Shah yeah. You know, they said, let us cut them off from being a nation. Yeah. You know, you got it. Yeah. Every one of them shall go into captivity. See that? Slavery. Yeah. That don't sound like nothing fun. <laughs> okay, and again, it's going to start with Esau because he's the ruler of these nations. Okay, he's going to have the taste of that cup. He's going to have to drink down the dreads. You got it. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. See that? They that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Let me see if I can find that uh, that dread. So I'm going to say it's like Psalm 78. Let me see. Hey, you going to drink to that cup. Matter of fact, let me see. So, yeah, read that again, Barker. So. <laughs> Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, mm -hmm. and all thy adversaries, mm -hmm. every one of them, go ahead, shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. Okay. Is it more on that? Okay. Go ahead. And they that spoil thee mm -hmm. shall be a spoil, mm -hmm. and all that prey upon thee. Will I give for her prey? All that prey upon thee <laughs> will I give for her prey. Says the Lord, yeah. your house by Shah is going to uh, exalt the low tree. Okay. All right? This is Psalms chapter 75, and he's going to bring down the high tree. Mm -hmm. Esau Eden, the so-called white man, and all his, his cohorts 
all his guys, you know, these other nations that subscribe to his way, they going down with him. This is Psalm 75 and 6. For promotion come of neither from the east, nor from the red, nor from the west, nor from the south. Hmm. But the Most High is the judge. He put of down one and set of up another. And that's what you're witnessing. The building of the house of David. Okay. And he's putting down Esau at the same time. Hmm. And this is the point. Verse, verse 8. For in the hand of the Lord, there is a cup. And the wine is red, it is full of mixture, and he poureth out of it the same, and the dreads thereof, all the but excuse me, but the dreads thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. And that cup, man, is a cup of slavery. Mm -hmm. Alright? You global elite, you wanna be the first fruits of slavery. Okay. You know, your first job is going to be to bury these dead bodies that we read about in Isaiah 63, <laughs> you know? Now, we know over here in America, this place is going to be destroyed, completely wiped out. But the dead bodies going to be in every other area of the world. And that's what they, their, their job going to be, you know? Let's go to uh, Isaiah 14. We'll close it out there. Uh, start at like, let's start at verse 1. Okay. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. See that? <laughs> the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. See, the promises are always to Jacob. Okay? You got it. And will yet choose Israel mm -hmm. and set them in their own land. Mm -hmm. And the stranger shall be joined with yeah, them. Yeah, the Israelite foreigners going to be joined with them. Go ahead. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Go ahead. And the people shall take them mm -hmm. and bring them to their place. See that? We're going to take you, Edomites. We're going to take you, other nations. We're going to take you, Elon. Yeah. We're going to take you, Ishmael. Yeah. We're going to take you, uh, Ammon. Yeah. Moab. Yeah. You're going into slavery. Yeah. Go ahead. And the house of Israel shall possess them. Woo, go ahead. In the land of the Lord mm -hmm. for servants and handmaids. Hey, that don't... You, you think a servant and a handmaid sounds yeah. sweet? No, we, 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 that's why we need that rider eye. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Moab eating all type of crazy shit, you know, and, and, and our, our people are following along right along with these nations. Mm -hmm. That's why they got it down this side. But I digress. We talking about possessing you, you heathen, okay. starting with you Edomites. Okay. Go ahead. Right? And the house of Israel mm -hmm. shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids mm -hmm. and they shall take them captives mm. whose captives they were come on and they shall rule over their oppressors see that and they yeah. shall rule <laughs> over their oppressors yeah. you know we've been suffering oppression here you know from these other nations including Esau he, you know he give these other nations grants to put businesses in our neighborhood so they can rule over us mm. oh that's the parable of Lazarus alright well, uh, the the dogs were licking on Lazarus' wounds. The dogs are the other nations, man. So you're going to catch it. You're going into slavery. There's no way around it. You, you want... All right. With that, we pray this has been edifying. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to you brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity okay. and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom, DTA, Ababa Ball. Soon. Mm -hmm.